The case began in 1961. Clarence Earl Gideon was arrested, accused of breaking and entering and stealing from the vending machines in a pool hall in Panama City, Florida. Gideon denied the accusations made against himself. He requested the court to appoint an attorney to represent him because of his poor financial situation. The court denied Gideon of having a court-appointed attorney the Florida judge sentenced Gideon to five years in prison for his accused friend. He filed a habeas corpus petition to Florida's Supreme Court while he was serving his conviction. He claimed his conviction was unconstitutional because he lacked a defense attorney at trial. Gideon was denied. The United States Supreme Court ruled in favor of Gideon's appeal for unjust imprisonment. The U.S. Supreme Court stated that Gideon's conviction was unconstitutional. The Sixth Amendment states, in all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Before the 1930s, the Supreme Court interpreted this language to as only forbidding the state from denying a defense attorney at trial. After the 1930s, court interpreted this amendment as requiring the state to provide a defense attorney in the capital trials. In the Gideon case, the court took this further, ruling that the Sixth Amendment requires states to provide defense attorneys to any indigent criminal defendant charged with a felony. The court noted that the state, just like the federal government, are bound to the Sixth Amendment because of the Fourteenth Amendment's due process clause. Sixth Amendment requires a state to provide defense lawyers if necessary because such lawyers are essential to a fair trial. America's criminal justice system is adversarial. Defense counsel is fundamental and essential to a fair trial. During the retrial, Gideon was appointed counsel. He was retried and pleaded not guilty. He was acquitted of all charges against him. Gideon Rich Rainwright was part of the Supreme Court's innovative approach to criminal justice in the 1950s and 60s. Court extended an unprecedented array of rights to criminal defendants. They won't let me out. 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 They won't let me out.